not only are you burning a lot of calories, but your core is gonna be on fire. You're working that core the entire time you're doing this. Hey man, Gary Walker here, and welcome back for another video. Today I wanna to give you the only three exercises you need to burn belly fat after 50. First, before I get into the only three exercises you need, I want you to click the link below this video to download our Ripped in Six workouts. These are six minute workouts where I'll show you how to get ripped abs in just a few minutes per day. There are also some really cool resources when you download these workouts as well. So the workout's completely free, so just click the first link in the description box below and we'll send those videos to you. All right, so here's what you need to keep in mind when it comes to burning that unhealthy and unattractive belly fat. Losing the fat from your midsection is gonna take a combination of three things to be done consistently. You need to understand this going into this video. I'm gonna give you my three favorite exercises that are gonna help speed up the process, help shape your midsection, and give you the overall core strength, but you have to do these other three things daily if you wanna see those attractive abs you're sculpting with the exercises. The first thing is obviously gonna be nutrition, all right? I don't wanna to get too detailed in a lot of these uh, components because there, there's going to be a nutrition component which is going to be the most important component because with these exercises what we're going to be doing I'm choosing a few that are going to help you burn a lot of calories and build that core strength as well as the core muscle all right so there's two benefits there by burning more calories it's going to help you burn some body fat to get that body fat stripped off of your midsection to show the belly beneath all the fat and that's what we're sculpting with the exercises. All right, so when it comes to the nutrition, I like to keep things pretty simple. I utilize my carb cycling strategy. Most of my clients have all gone through this protocol and it's a quick way to really start turning your body into a fat burning machine. So let me simplify this for you. A carb cycling strategy that I like to use is every day of the week you're doing resistance training. I recommend four resistance training days per week. These should be short, intense, workouts 30 to 60 minutes no more I typically recommend about 45 but again it depends on whether you're a beginner intermediate or an advanced level lifter all right but the way I structure it those days say we're four days a week we're gonna be weight training those four days you're gonna have balanced healthy meals good lean protein sources good complex carbs and good fibrous carbs like veggies and some good essential fats so you're gonna eliminate all the processed foods, all the sugars, all the sodas, all those empty calorie drinks. Eliminate all that and replace it with whole nutrient dense foods that I just mentioned. And that's what you're gonna do four days of the week. Because again, you're working out those four days, you're earning those complex carbohydrates. Now the other three days, you're not doing weight training. Well, what I want you to do on those days is load up on the protein, lean protein sources and the veggies. Protein, veggies, that's all you need to do. Don't worry about the complex carbs. So a quick breakdown, veggies, broccoli, asparagus, cauliflower, zucchini, cucumbers, all those free to eat with your protein source. Eat that for three meals on those non-workout days and you're gonna do great. Then three meals on your workout days, all you're doing then is adding your complex carbs, your rice, potatoes, quinoa, beans, lentils, fruits, multigrains, all of those can be eaten on the days you're working out. So that's the simple strategy for carb cycling. That's gonna get you tremendous results. All right, so that's number one. The number two thing you really wanna start adding is some type of cardio exercise. So it doesn't have to be the boring cardio where you're just getting on a treadmill for 45 minutes or slowly on an elliptical for 45 minutes. So you can push yourself a little bit and turn these into some little hit intervals. The benefit of a HIT interval is that you're gonna burn more fat, not only immediately because you're burning more calories, but in something that's an afterburn effect. So if you do a workout now, when you're done with that workout and you do a high intensity interval training workout, you're gonna to continue to burn for hours after that workout. Whereas if you're doing a treadmill cardio exercise, you're burning calories, you're burning some body fat, you're doing that 45 minute session, but guess what? As soon as you get off that treadmill or off that elliptical, you're coming back down. You're not gonna be burning any more fat throughout that day. So just keep that in mind when you're selecting which cardio to do. But the main reason I want you to do a cardio and nutrition combination is far too many people today skip cardio altogether and focus on just 
cutting as many calories as possible. That's the last thing you need to do as an older man. You want calories, all right? You wanna eat enough to, for a man. Don't eat like a bird or like a woman. Eat for a man, meaning you wanna boost your testosterone levels, your growth hormone. So you wanna eat enough food to do that and optimize those hormone levels and get that testosterone as high as possible because that's gonna help burn even more body fat. All right, so I know I went off on that, but now let's get into the three exercises that I recommend. So you heard me saying, you don't really have to just do the treadmill stuff. So what kind of HIIT training can you choose? Well, one of the exercises I like to do this with, mountain climbers. So the way this is gonna work, get you a little Tabata app, they're free apps. You can set up these time intervals or just a stopwatch, whatever you need to do. And I want you to go all out with mountain climbers for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, get those mountain climbers, get those knees pumping, and 20 seconds, and then you're gonna take about a 20 second break, get some air, get some recovery time, and then you're gonna do interval number two, another 20 seconds. 20 seconds, all out, do as much as you can do, and then another 20 second break. So these are 20, 20 intervals. This is one of the easiest ones to set up. So mountain climbers work really well for that because not only are you burning a lot of calories, but your core is gonna be on fire. You're working that core the entire time you're doing this. And so typically what I like to do with these intervals is you can do all three exercises that I'm about to give you, one after another, and then repeat for rounds. Or you can do five intervals with mountain climbers, then another five with the second exercise, and then a five, another five with the third. All right, so for the second exercise, we're using Russian twist. When it comes to Russian twists, there's several ways you can do this. You'll see me using the medicine ball. So if you can do these with resistance, then add the resistance when you're doing these. That's gonna make a big difference. So just really focus on, if you're an advanced person lifting your heels off the ground, lean back and then rotate side to side. Keep your core nice and tight. And if you're new to doing these, you haven't done these before, the first thing I'm gonna recommend, keep your heels on the ground. You don't need any extra resistance and just touch your hands side to side. Rotate, twist side to side. This is gonna work your abs, your obliques, and the movement that you're gonna be utilizing throughout this exercise is also gonna burn some calories. So that's a consistent theme I want you to realize with these exercises I chose. All right, now the third exercise, kettlebell swings, all right? Kettlebell swings is a great exercise, not only for burning a lot of calories, but great for that core strength. So yes, we wanna shape the front of the abs, but you also wanna have a strong lower back. This is gonna help strengthen your entire torso as well. The kettlebell swings work your shoulders, your upper back, lower back, your glutes, your hips, so, and your whole core, your midsection. So it's a tremendous exercise. It comes with a lot of benefits. So those are the three exercises I'm gonna recommend you do. And go at your own pace. Again, being older, you wanna train smart. All right, you can still train hard, but you need to train smart. So really pay attention to your form with all three of these exercises. Listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, then look to make sure you're doing the exercise correctly. And if you're doing everything correctly, but it's still not feeling right in your lower back or your hips or shoulders or something like that, then cut back on this exercise and replace it with another exercise. At the end of the day, it's all about being smart and really paying attention to your body. So hope you like this video. And again, it's time to start getting some of that body fat off of your body. So with that said, thanks for watching. And as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.